The President of the United States of America, Joe Biden, and the Democratic Party have officially attacked crypto. In the past, we've seen some very passive aggressive stuff from Liz Warren, Brad Sherman, and a bunch of other people from that political spectrum. And again, you guys, I really don't like talking about politics. I absolutely despise it, but one of the reasons why we have to is because politics do directly impact what happens in the crypto industry, okay? And again, red versus blue, don't like it. Straight down the middle, live free, harm none, protect our base. But President Biden tweeted this. We don't have to guess what MAGA House Republicans value. They're telling us. We think Congress should cut tax loopholes that help wealthy crypto investors. $18 billion versus MAGA Republicans think Congress should cut food safety inspections. This was probably one of the dumbest things I have heard from this administration, simply because cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, and NFTs have no guidelines in the United States of America. The head of the SEC, Gary Gensler, under oath was not able to indicate whether the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap was a security or not. The fact that we don't even have clear regulations on what these things are and really how to pay our taxes, those keep changing. How is it even possible to have tax loopholes for cryptocurrency investors and crypto companies when most of them are just being pushed out of the country, okay? One plus one equals 69. Are there tax loopholes for the very wealthy on both sides? 100%. And that's why I tell you guys to pay your taxes the best of your ability and hire somebody that can help you utilize those loopholes that both parties put into play, okay? We have to play their game. Again, the fact that these people are using crypto as a way to FUD the entire industry or actually really to push themselves ahead is very, very problematic for me. Like it's a blatant lie and it's very, very upsetting because there's so many people in this industry that actually want to help others, everybody improve their quality of life, but we simply can't do it because we have leaders like this that put out blatant lies. And again, he also tweeted this, inflation is now down to 40% since last summer and it's come down the last nine months in a row. We have more work to do, but we're trending in the right direction. Has inflation really gone down? We were told inflation was transitory and last time I checked, everything is still super, super expensive. Like, and on top of that, four out of 10 American families have cut back on groceries recently. Inflation is not going down, okay? And the metrics that they use for CPI, unemployment, all this stuff is a bunch of hoop nanny, okay? It's just a bunch of BS. And again, you guys, at this point, I'm more than happy to announce that I'm gonna vote for whoever is pro crypto. Whoever's pro crypto, don't care what side they're on. Why? I'm a firm believer that if you have a level playing field with wealth and people have access to good products and services because they're making money, the economy is doing good, a lot of the social issues that we see in the United States of America will go away. And again, I'm in another country right now and the social issues we have in the US, not even present here at all. Like everybody is just so unbothered. So it's very bizarre to me. Also too, I wanted to talk a little bit about that food aspect that Biden put into his tweet. Cutting food safety inspections. Honestly, I agree with cutting food safety inspections. We wouldn't need as much food safety inspections if we actually allowed for good ingredients to be put into our food. Our food is full of toxins and poisons and all kinds of really crazy things that just make us sick. Again, in another country now, haven't been sick one time. Feel absolutely amazing. Like I can eat it any time, day or night, and I feel great. If I was to do this in America, no way. Why do I know this? I actually ate McDonald's and I did this as a test. I ate McDonald's at about 10 o'clock at night in Estonia. And if I would have ate McDonald's in America because of the ingredients, I would have gotten sick. I would have woke up feeling hungover and gross. I woke up the next day, absolutely fine, completely unbothered. And again, just goes to show the quality of our food. So moral of the story is our public servants don't care about anybody but themselves. They love to make up blatant lies. And again, I highly recommend you hear what I say, but listen to yourself. And that just means searching for information in a lot of other areas because you're gonna to need to come up with something that makes sense for you and yourself. Don't ever get your information from one place. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sending love and light from Estonia. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, set alerts. Bye-bye.